Good morning, guys. Okay, this is the coolest thing ever. If you haven't seen one of these before, it is called the Spicy Shelf. I'll put a link to it over in our um, in the in the post. There should be a link to it there, and we'll try to pop one in the comments. But I bought it's a set of two of these, and basically what it does is you can adjust it to whatever size you need. Here we go, y'all. This is going to be a game changer for your spice cabinet. See if I can get this here so you can see. So you just put it together. Like I said, you can. It's adjustable. You can stick whatever size in, and then. Hang on just a second. Hang on. Let's see if I can get y'all up here so you can see this. Here we go. Tell me how you organize your spices. Have y'all done your pantry organization? If you're following the home planner this year, you know that this week is the spice cabinet organization week, but I have had this for the last year. And it's funny, when I realized this was on our checklist to do today, I was like, I really don't have to do a whole lot because it's already pretty much done. So then what the other thing I do, which is kind of going to sound silly to y'all, is I try as much as I can to only buy <laughs> Kroger brands, blue spices because they're frugal. Um, you could also do, I think McCormick makes a similar size, but by having them all the same size, they look like they're fancy. I can keep them all organized. I do kind of tilt them in the corners. And there you go, you guys. I mean, it is probably one of my favorite things. So let me show you how I keep the rest of it. Um, I put these on the bottom. I'm hoping y'all, can y'all see this really well? Hit the share this button and tell me good morning. Tell me if you need to clean out your spices and then I'll show you the rest of the things that I keep in here. I put my bouillon cubes back at the back because I hardly ever use those, but that way I keep them. Try to keep it all kind of organized straight like that. Can y'all see that? Good morning. So glad to see you. Hey, Marita. Hi, Dawn. Glad to see you. Good morning, MC. Isn't it funny how just like this is silly, but just having the same matching spices, it makes me sad whenever I can't find one that's a Kroger brand one. And then I have my timer that I keep up here, but that's it. So now let me show you the rest of my spice cabinet which isn't perfect, but the other thing I use are these Lazy Susans. Obviously, a few other spices make it in here that are not, for whatever reason, like my Aldi spices, you guys. You know I've got my Aldi ones. Um, so those just sit up here on this. Super, super simple and easy way to keep your spice cabinet. Um, I put one thing that's nice to do if you if you really want to be Joanna Gaines, not Joanna Gainsey, if you want to be like on the home edit, they always put everything with the name to the front. I already know what everything is, but good morning, Mimi. Hi, Penny. So glad to see you. You ordered yours last week there in alphabetical order. I know it definitely. Oh, MC. This is why you are the smartest friend on the planet, MC. She always has such smart ideas for me. She just said, save the tins when they're done, and then I can just keep them and even replace them. So smart. So you can see a couple of them. I have my menu planning stuff ready for next week for our five ingredient February challenge. So we're ready for that. So a couple of spices are already pulled out in those things. So that's why I have empty spaces, but I do keep them alphabetized. Um, is this, I love this wraparound organizer as well. And what's nice is it really doesn't matter what size, here, I'll pull this back out, you have. And like I said, I organized my spice cabinet in about three minutes. I wish, man, now that you set that MC, I'm gonna have to see if I can find, I need the blue ones for those other ones. The nice thing too is the, the Kroger ones are cheap. So where are the tins from? They're from Kroger, Carrie. So if you have a Kroger store or a um, Kroger affiliate store, so here, uh, let's see, Smith's, Maybe Vaughn's, I'm trying to think of what other, uh, City Market is a Kroger store. Any of those have that. Good morning, Georgine, so glad to see you. You wish you had a Kroger in the area. Kroger, yep, Chris, and like, it's so easy. And then you just always know where everything is at. I started this about a year ago. I love it. Now I feel like I need a few less spices up here, but you get the idea. So I would just take some time today, guys. It's clean out your spice cabinet. It's so simple to do, doesn't take long. The links for everything I'm using are in the um, post. So yeah, that's it. A baker's, AJ, you saw these and been thinking about buying them. Vicki, I did not check this morning to see how much they are, but I really do think they're worth it. So, oh no, MC Kroger doesn't have, MC doesn't have a Kroger. Probably the only store that carries this. I guess you could do, I think McCormick makes one of these sizes. The problem with McCormick is you're gonna spend way more money. Um, yeah, anyways, you have Kroger, so these are on the shelves at Kroger. Yes, Carrie, they would be on the shelves at Kroger. Where did you get your spice racks? At Amazon. If you click the link in the video, it will take you right to that. Um, you won't have Kroger, but you'll find them. I love that. You bought your, did yours last week. Baking is in first section. Okay, that's a smart idea too. So mine are all alphabetical, 
but somebody just said they do them in um, out by baking. So one side is baking and one side is cooking, which is kind of fun too. With Florida humidity problems, um, Tanya says with Florida humidity problems, I, her spices get messed up. I can see that totally. I also really encourage you guys, the Lazy Susans will change your life. So anyways, there you go. I oh, and one other quick tip. This is our family's favorite waffle recipe. It is from a very old Better Homes and Gardens cookbook. Um, if you have a recipe that you love, I just put it, I've taped it there in every single house. And that way on Saturday mornings, we can always make it super fast. So that's use your, use your doors for fun things that you love. Okay, that's it, you guys. Um, they, how much are the spices? Carrie, I would say the spices are cheaper than McCormick. So probably two or $3. They're pretty inexpensive. So yay, I'm so glad you're here. Laura said she got on for the Facebook Live today. I love that. Okay, there you go, guys. Go organize your spices. Have an amazing Friday. I am so thankful for you.